Okay, so you bought an HP G1 Mini, and that could be either the Elite Desk 800, the Pro Desk 400, or the Pro Desk 600. And you've been using it for a while, and you start to notice that, hey, maybe I could make it a little faster. You know, maybe Windows isn't uh, running as um, zippy as I had hoped. Well, what we want to do then is upgrade the memory. Before we go and put the actual memory in, I just want to do just a quick rundown as far as what you want to purchase. Okay, this is server memory or lap, not laptop, excuse me, server memory or desktop memory. This is what's known as SODIMM or laptop memory. You can tell the, obviously the difference. This is the kind we want. We want what's known as DDR3. We want it to be at least 1600 megahertz. You can get memory that's faster, but your unit is only going to go at 1600 megahertz. Some of the memory that you'll see will have on it a little number like this has uh, 12800. That designates that it's actually 1600 megahertz. Sometimes this number is higher, which also means then it's faster. But if you're purchasing it, you want to look for, again, DDR3 and then look for 1600 megahertz if that's what's listed or look for the, sometimes it's called PC3, uh, 12800. If you get that, now if you want to purchase, I would go for, um, get them in sets of two, get, get a pair. Reason for that is that then you can get better performance with the dual channel. So if you were to have the choice between getting, let's say, one 8 gig stick or two 4 gig sticks, go, go for the two 4 gig. Now the most you can put into a G1 is 16 gig. And that's going to be more than enough for your types of things that you're doing. But you can, and you can, of course, buy this uh, lots of places, um, Amazon, eBay, uh, Newegg. Um, I've purchased them used on eBay. Used memory is fine. Um, one little tip is that let's say you have a unit that's got maybe a four gig single stick in it. Just look for the model number on eBay or Amazon, wherever you're going, and just get the same stick. That way you're assured and you know that, hey, if this works, I've got the right speed, I've got the whole, you know, sizing, everything's going to work. I'll just get another one. And I do that a lot. I like to keep them in, in nice pairs. Uh, one word of caution, of course, uh, before you open up the computer, make sure it's unplugged. So now we can go and actually uh, do the memory upgrade. Okay, this is a Elite Desk 800 G1. Unscrew the th thumb screw in the back, push forward, and here we are on the inside. I wanted to show what you need to do if your unit already has a drive sitting in it, because we need to take this out because the, the access to the memory is below this. So what I would suggest is first disconnect the SATA cable here. And that take a little bit of, there we go. Okay. Then, this is sort of the release. This will allow the unit so you can push it forward and get it out of the little, um, sort of the railing or the, the you know, the trap here that, that's holding it in. There's two slots. To remove the first one, little latch here and here, and just want to pull out on them, and they'll kind of almost pop up or pop out. This particular one, as I said before, this is 2 gig. Notice it's got the 12,800 12, on there. Take my first. You always want to start um, and populate the one that's closest to the board first. Make sure that it's seated in there nicely. Push down until you hear it kind of snap into place there. 
you should see that it's gripping at the little sides here. Let's take our next one. Now, one thing I want to mention is sometimes I've had memory that you'll get and it will the sticker will be on the other side for some reason and so you end up uh, kind of having to put it in um, sort of reversed. You'll notice that it only goes in one particular way. Push it down. Now we want to put our drive back in. We're going to do the reverse. We'll get the drive in first. Push this to the side. Kind of get the solder cable out of the way. This one might take a little more. Ah, it's because the SATA cable's in the way here. Let me just. Okay, there we go. Now, reattach. You'll see here, there's a kind of a wide, excuse me, it's narrow and a wide side, and that correlates to what we have on the drive itself. There we go. Slide this back, thumb screw back on. Now I'll show you how to check to make sure that it actually shows that you have the right amount of memory. Now, you can either do this by just going into Windows, but I'm gonna go into the BIOS uh, quicker way just to see, make sure we have the right amount of memory. Okay, I've hooked up a keyboard and mouse, and I have a display port. Um, I could have hooked it up to the VGA. I just need a monitor so I can see what's going to happen when I um, boot up. What you're going to want to do is, I haven't plugged in the power yet, because I just want to explain is that um, sometimes as soon as you start plugging the power, it starts going. Other times you actually have to hit the, the start button or the, the on button. Um, but what you want to start doing as soon as it comes up is hitting the escape key several times until it comes up to the um, bias boot screen. And I'll show you that in a little bit. So let's plug in. And I'll turn it on. And I've started hitting the escape key. One thing I should note is that on some units, when you change the memory, it may complain and come up with a screen that says, hey, memory's changed, and then you just hit, you know, return, and then everything's fine. If hitting um, escape multiple times doesn't do it, um, just holding down the escape key is another way to uh, bring up the uh, startup menu. Inside of the startup menu, what we want to do is go to system information. And you'll notice here, just give some basics that this is an elite desk. Uh, but the important part is if I come down about midway, I see that it says memory size, 16 gig. And um, it shows that there's memory in both of the slots, channel A and B, both of them are eight gig. So this is good. This means that we have uh, successfully added our 16 gig of memory.